Hey YouTubers, it's me Jessica, aka Intriguing One here on YouTube. Uh, coming to you today via the Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works channel. So I am your first Friday of the month vlogger. So uh, I'm going to talk to you today about eating out and with others and how that affects me personally uh, being 30, I believe I'm 37 weeks post-op lap band. Um, so the first question is how do you deal with eating out? Um, for me personally this is a struggle that I have to deal with um, just in general. I don't like to cook and I'm not the best planner so eating out has always been a big part of my life. Um, it, it probably has a good chunk to do with why I might have been overweight to begin with. Um, but for me I do, it is still part of my life, um, not to the extent that it used to be. And what I mean by that is, you know, pre-op, I would have no issue going to McDonald's and ordering a Big Mac value meal with a large Coke and drinking that and eating, you know, all my fries and all my burger for lunch. And um, now if I eat out, you know, if I go to McDonald's, I might choose uh, something small like a... Um, hamburger uh, without fries um, or sometimes I get uh, their salads there so I still do eat out um, but I just try to make better choices obviously I can't eat as much as I used to and certain things I just don't like to eat because they don't go down as well uh, one example is french fries you know I love french fries but they just don't sit well with me so um, so, in short, eating out is still part of my life. I just make different decisions now than I used to. Um, the next question is, how do you deal with eating meals with others? Again, uh, I'm pretty much an open book. Uh, when I go out with people, um, they know that I've had the surgery, so it's not like I need to try and, you know, hide that fact. Um, sometimes if uh, I go out with others, and um, somebody's not as hungry, I'll get them to share a meal with me. Um, keeps me in check with my portions. Or um, a lot of times if I go out to a real restaurant, the thing that I find easiest to order that just seems to make the most sense is actually a salad. Just get some sort of salad with chicken on it. And um, I always get the dressing on the side, more so because I'm not really a, a big dressing or sauce person. Um, and generally, if they put it on, it's too much for me. But um, I know that also helps my calories, too. So, <clears throat> sorry, I'm a little sick. So, um, again, I just try to make uh, good decisions and share if and when possible when I'm going out to dinner or lunch or whatever with somebody um, that's willing to. Um, are you hesitant to take partake in such events? I'm not, and again, that's more because I'm an open book and I don't worry about, you know, trying to keep it secret or on the down low that I've had um, weight loss surgery because I have, and obviously my eating habits are different because of that. So um, I'm not hesitant. I just try to make the best decision I can based upon where I'm at. Um, has this changed for you since weight loss surgery? Um, like I said, eating out has changed. I still do do it, but I make different decisions. And as far as eating out with people, um, I'm not going to say that's really changed. I still would. I would say the one thing that I definitely know um, I don't do anymore is, you know, for instance, sometimes uh, after work on a Friday or whatever, a group of, you know, co-workers might go over to, you know, um, for instance, we had a Buca de Beppo by us, and we'd go over there sometimes and order appetizers and have a few drinks. <coughs> Sorry. But now I certainly don't want to spend my calories on alcohol, so I pretty much steer pretty clear from that. And, um, you know, obviously the appetizers are always stuff that I shouldn't eat anyways, you know, like cheese bread and you know, pizzas and just stuff that I shouldn't eat and a lot of it is stuff that doesn't sit well with me anyway. So 
Um, that would be the only thing that changes, I think, is that I don't partake in some of those. I may still go, and I may have a bite of something, but definitely not like I used to. Um, <clears throat> let's see. The next question was, has it changed further along you are post-op? Um, eating out has changed for me because I would say at the beginning I was much more self-conscious on making sure that I knew every calorie that I took in and every calorie that I burned via my body bug and now I'm a little more lenient with that um, I just know that I can't live my life forever personally counting every calorie that goes into my mouth but I know that I've got to make sound decisions on what I eat and I need to be able to do that without seeing a nutritional chart and sometimes you've got to make, you know, some good judgments. And some people will either agree with me or disagree with me on this fact. But uh, I don't believe I personally can live basing my decisions off of only knowing the numbers. For instance, early on when I was um, post-op, I wouldn't eat anything if I went out unless I knew what the nutritional value was. I mean, I wanted to know calories. I wanted to know protein. I mean, I wanted to know it all, otherwise I just wouldn't eat. And um, I think that was a little obsessive for me, so I'm trying to, you know, I've kind of put that to the side now. So um, now I just, again, I'm just trying to make the best decisions. I know what I can eat. I have an idea of what, you know, amounts equal what. So I have an idea, but I don't need to know the exact everything when I eat it. So. Uh, that's probably the only thing that's changed as far as eating out other than the obvious I'm not eating a Big Mac anymore and things like that so but that's more pre-op but post-op I, I would just say I'm a little more lenient with you know giving myself you know a little room to make good judgments without having the hard facts in front of me um, <clears throat> the last question is what do you typically order if you're eating out for a meal and it wants to know breakfast lunch and dinner um, for me, breakfast, it would always be something with eggs, just because I know eggs are protein. Um, if I were at a restaurant, I'd probably get um, over easy eggs and hash browns. Um, that way I kind of mix the two together. It makes it uh, get a little bit of carbs, which isn't always the greatest, but um, along with my eggs. But since I do like my eggs over easy, um, they're pretty yolky, so if if I don't mix them with something like hash browns, then it's pretty much slider food. So um, that's what I would do for breakfast. If I were eating fast food um, for breakfast, I would probably get just some type of egg sandwich, and then generally I either get rid of both both pieces of the bun or bread that it's on, or get rid of at least one of them, just because I have a harder time eating bread. So but generally steer clear from anything else that would go along with it especially at fast food like you know I don't like the hash brown type things at those places anyways even before I was uh, had lap band but I certainly don't like them now so um, lunch and dinner for me are basically the same I'm gonna get something that you know of course tries to follow the rules making sure I'm staying with protein and then also something that I know that I can eat um, for instance, lately, if I go out to eat, I'll get um, chicken tacos or um, a chicken tostada. Um, and, you know, that has, obviously, the proteins. It's got um, vegetables. So, and again, I just, you know, how much I can eat that day is dependent on how much that I might get, just depending on what meal of the day it is for me. Because, you know, any of you guys that follow us or know if you're a lap bed or generally, it seems like we're tighter in the morning or for the first meal of the day than we are for the other meals of the day. So um, that's kind of my synopsis on eating out. I probably do it more than I should. And um, I'll actually include a little bit of that into my own personal video on my channel. Um, but anyways, uh, I think I've answered all the questions for this week, so hopefully that gives 
some of you guys some insights on, you know, I know all of us do the same topic during the week, and you'll hear a lot of different answers as far as what each one of us does and how strict or permissive each one of us are. So, um, you know, you just got to do what works for you and what you see the results are, and, you know, do what works for your lifestyle and, and things like that. So, again, I, I personally believe you can eat out. You just got to make good decisions and um, go from there. So... I will see you guys next month. I hope everybody's doing well. Take care. Bye.